Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about my three most annoying reading habits. These are the things that annoy me about myself when it comes to reading. Number one, flicking ahead. So I have this habit, like, usually when I'm going to be putting a book down, I've just finished the end of the chapter, and instead of just putting the bookmark in it and closing it, I flick through the next few pages to find out what happens. And usually I end up flicking my way through the next chapter. So then I don't really want to carry on reading the book because I already know what happens in the next chapter. It's really hard to make myself do it, so then I have to cannot do it at home when I've got free time and just lying around on my bed or whatever. I have to wait until I am next on a train or something and I'm kind of a captive audience for the book. Ugh. It winds me up so much. I just cannot express how annoyed I am at myself whenever I do it. And yes, I do it. I did go through a phase last year of doing it a lot and I got so fed up with myself, I just was like, um, no, I've got to get a hold of this. And I have improved, I have improved this year, but then in the last few books I read, I caught myself doing it. This is one of the good things about ebooks, is that I can't really do that. But I have so many paper books to read, I'm not going to give them up. So I'm just going to have to keep trying harder and harder to not do it. I never used to do this, so I have no idea where this habit came from. But, uh, number two is not finishing non-fiction. I have so much non-fiction in my currently reading list on Goodreads. I have even more which I haven't actually put in my currently reading list on Goodreads. I'm just rubbish at finishing it. I have books which I started when I was at university. I have one book which I'm pretty sure I started in second year of university and it was a good book and I have memories of reading it in all different places to try to get it done. I remember sitting there at a party at my aunt's house reading this book. I remember taking it with me to read on the train a lot. And then at some point it just stopped. I haven't picked it back up since. And there are more. There are more that I've started and not finished. Um, there's lots of kind of like how-to guides and kind of self helpy creativity books where I've started them and never finished them. And it's just like, oh my god. And it doesn't help when they're library books. I'll just continue to get them out for ages and ages and ages. Even when I was a kid I used to do this with non-fiction. I'd get the book out of the library and hold on for it for years. I'd just take it back whenever I had to to renew it. And then take it home again and carry on. And it just sat there on my shelf like I owned it. And number three, binging at inappropriate times. Sometimes I just get so hooked on the book that I cannot tell myself away from it. Now this is a good thing because it's really fun. And this is a thing I think a lot of other readers can relate to. But it is really, 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 really inconvenient sometimes. You know, if I'm supposed to be concentrating on something else, if I've got work to do, if I need to finish writing these thousand words or whatever, if I've got to finish my lunch and get back to work, that will be the time when I, when I, when I want to binge. Or it will be when I have to go to bed. And bed is not enough of a good reason for my brain to stop reading. Oh no, it doesn't matter if that means I'm only going to get four hours sleep. I must finish this book. So let me know, what are your most annoying reading habits? Are they things you've learned to embrace? Are they things you just think you're stuck with? Or are they things that you think you will attempt to change? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Bookish Brits if you haven't already. Bye!